Come on, let me take you to all the places that I have traveled in the last 50 years. Hello friends, oh, welcome back to 70 by 70. Today is our third day in uh, Palestine and Israel. This is what we are going to do today. Just check out the map. Apart from this, we will also visit some other places like the Milk, Grotto, etc. Come on, let's go. We are in Palestine today. We are in Bethlehem. We have a lot of places to visit to today. We are all eagerly sitting and waiting for the beginning of our day. We will be visiting places like uh, Shepherd's Field, the Milk Grotto, the Church of Nativity, Church of Visitation, Church of the Baptist, and even the tomb of Lazarus before we return back to the hotel. Well, this will be our first stop. It is the Shepherd's Field. We're going to stop at the Shepherd's Field. And then we come and visit the Shepherd of Jesus. Here, the Gospel of Luke tells us an angel announced the birth of Jesus to the shepherds who were keeping watch over their flock. A tent shaped chapel of angels contains paintings of the angel's announcement to the shepherds. This is the way to the milk grotto. This is the milk grotto. A short distance south of the church of nativity in Bethlehem, there is a shrine called the milk grotto. According to tradition, while Mary and Joseph were fleeing Herod's soldiers on their way to Egypt, they stopped in this cave and while Mary nursed the baby Jesus, a drop of Mary's milk fell upon the stone and it turned white. This shrine is sacred to Christians and Muslim pilgrims alike. It is especially frequented by new mothers and women who are trying to conceive. Our next destination is really important, the Church of Nativity where Jesus was supposed to have been born. We are at the entrance to the Church of Nativity where uh, Jesus was born. The church was really crowded and there are lots of important places inside the church that one can see. I am going to let you see everything and enjoy yourself inside this church. So this chapel is dedicated to St. Joseph. And here, this is the place where the, the Bible was translated from Hebrew into Latin. Uh, this passage leads you to the place where Jesus was born. This is uh, the entrance to the cave where. Uh, Jesus was supposed to have been born. Wait, Father, we are being stopped. So we can't go down? So we can't go down? Yeah, I know, I know, I understand. After the birth place, they put him in the wooden manger. The place where the manger was there, and the chapel of the wise men opposite. Well, you can see in that. You can see in that. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. 
This is the place where the holy manger was kept. This is, this is the inside of the cave with uh, the legend of Jesus was born. It seems that it has spread all over now. With a very great sense of spiritual satisfaction, we got out of the cave of Jesus and then out of the church of nativity towards our next destination. Now we are going towards the church of visitation where Mother Mary came to meet Elizabeth, Hi. the mother of John the Baptist. See how I'm breathing hard? It was a long walk on a slope leading towards the church. Visitation. This is believed to be the site of Zachariah and Elizabeth's summer homes, where Mary came to visit her cousin. The Virgin Mary's visit to Elizabeth is commemorated in a two-tired church on a slope of the hill south of Ain Kari. Now we are in the church of St. John the Baptist and it is considered to be built over the place where John the Baptist was born in Ain Karim near Jerusalem. This is the church of St. John where the John the Baptist was born. This is the Church of St. John the Baptist. This is the place where uh, John the Baptist was born. This is the wall which is uh, dividing Israel and Palestine. We happen to be in Palestine side now. This is the church of uh, Lazarus where Jesus performed the miracle of bringing him back to life from death. After visiting all those important places in Israel, we have moved back to Palestine. This is a place where Jesus performed one of his very important miracles. Lazarus, where Jesus resurrected the dead Lazarus into life. This is the tomb of Lazarus. Just a few uh, meters away from this church, up a sloping uh, alley, there is this cave where uh, Lazarus was supposed to have been buried. We decided to enter the cave to see where Lazarus was really buried. But it was really a tough uh, going. It had two, three levels of difficult steps to climb down. And as most of the 
people with us were senior citizens. They really found it difficult to reach the bottom uh, level. reached the bottom just one more step to enter the real burial chamber this brought us to the end of uh, today's travel and we went back to our hotel in Bethlehem tomorrow is a long day we are going to be back in Jerusalem again visiting most of the other important sites we will be visiting most of the churches around Jerusalem we will be visiting Gethsemane we will be walking Del Rosa and we will see Golgotha or Calvary where Jesus was crucified. If you want to travel to a lot more places like this with me, why don't you subscribe, share and like this channel. Thanks for watching. We will meet again.